George was born around AD 280 in Cappadocia, East Asia Minor. His father is thought to be an army chief of Emperor Diocletian. George was also a high-ranking military officer in the army of Diocletian. There are several legendary and historical descriptions about St. George and it is difficult to distinguish between the two. However, most of the books refer to an incident which is described here. One day, George was riding a horse in the province of Libya in North Africa. He came upon a city named Silin. Near the city was a marsh in which lived a dragon. The people had attempted to kill it but were poisoned by the creature's fetid breath. To placate the dragon, they offered it two sheep a day, but when they began to exhaust their supply of sheep, they were forced to substitute a human each day instead, casting Lot to choose the victim. At the time of George's arrival, the Lot had just fallen to the king's daughter Andromeda. No one volunteered to take her place, so she was dressed in bridal finery and sent to meet the dragon. Riding upon his horse, George attacked the dragon and speared it with his lance and led the dragon into the city. The people were frightened and started to run away. But George told them not to be afraid and that if they would believe in Jesus Christ and be baptized, he would slay the dragon. The king and the people agreed, after which George killed the dragon. When Diocletian learned about the Christian faith of George, Various promises were made to tempt him and turn him away from the faith, but George refused to give up his Christian faith. Diocletian became angry and ordered George to be imprisoned. He was persecuted for refusing to worship the pagan gods Apollon and Hocles. Diocletian even tried to kill Saint George and thought he was dead several times, but through the power of the Lord, he came back alive. For all the suffering that he had to go through, St. George never gave up and continued talking to Diocletian about the power of the Christian faith. After seeing several miracles, Diocletian's wife Alexandria and his daughter Valeria believed in Jesus Christ. This resulted in the beheading of Alexandria at Diospolis in Palestine. George was very strong in his faith, in which no trials of Diocletian could work on him. As all assassination attempts on George had failed, the emperor demanded that he be beheaded with a sword. Thus, on April 23rd, AD 303, George was matted. The writings of two Syrian churches, which date back to AD 494, suggest that George was matted at Lydia. Emperor Constantine, who then took over after Diocletian, claimed that Saint George was the true role model for the Christians and asked to have a church built over his tomb. There were churches in the name of St. George during the time of Constantine at Nicomedia, Ludia and Thessalonica. St. George is the patron saint of the faithful of England. The Coptic Egyptians call him the Prince of Matis and they have built over 200 churches named after him. The Greek believers call him the Great Matir. Historians recognize that St. George is a true hero who dared to challenge Diocletian. He purified his soul and remained steadfast in the Christian faith until his death. It is believed that after the churches built in the name of St. Mary, the largest number of churches in the world are named after St. George. The relics of this saint are kept in St. George Syriac Church, Perimbali. The feast of this saint is celebrated with prayer by many Christians around the world on April 23rd every year. May the intercession of St. George always be a blessing to the faithful.